In this video, we are going to learn how to program this Arduino Nano board using the Arduino IDE. So today I am using this Arduino Nano board which have the USB Type-C port on it. You can also use the old Arduino Nano board which comes with the uh, old USB port. Also to connect this Arduino Nano board to the computer, we will need the USB cable. So I am using this USB Type-A to Type-C USB cable. So let's get started. So today we are going to control this onboard LED which is marked as L here you can see. This LED is connected with our Arduino Nano's uh, digital pin number 13 which is here. So we don't need any extra LED or any resistor because this LED already have one resistor available on board. So uh, first of all we will connect our Arduino board with our computer using the USB cable. So as soon as you connect your Arduino board with the computer, its power LED turns on, which means the power is coming to Arduino board correctly. Now we will jump to the Arduino IDE. So here is my Arduino IDE. So first of all in the IDE, what you need to do, you need to go to file and you click on new. We will expand this. So before we write a program to our Arduino board, first we need to tell the Arduino IDE which board we are going to uh, program and where it is connected. So to select our board, you need to go to tools. Then you go to board. Then here you can click on the Arduino AVR boards and here you will find the Arduino Nano. Next we need to go to again tools. Here in processor for Arduino Nano, as this board is a uh, clone copy of the original Arduino Nano board, it comes with the chip which have the old bootloader installed on it. So here we need to select the Atmega328P old bootloader otherwise your program will not upload. So select this. Next go to tools and in the port you need to select the COM port where your Arduino Nano is connected. So right now it is only showing me uh, the COM10 so it means my Arduino Nano is connected on this COM10 port. If there are multiple COM ports are getting shown what you can do, you can remove all the other USB devices except your Arduino Nano and it will tell you which is your appropriate COM port. So let me select this COM port and now I am ready to upload my code. So in the Arduino IDE, whenever you create a new sketch, it will show you these two uh, functions already added in the code. So first of all is the uh, wide setup. So the wide setup is the uh, section of your Arduino code where you need to put the program which is going to run only first time when you run the uh, program on your Arduino board. And in the loop, you put the program which is going to run simultaneously or continuously on your Arduino Nano board. So let's see, without going much detail, I will show you how to write your first program to your Arduino Nano board. Now in the setup section, we need to set the pin which we are going to control, which is the pin number 13 as output. So here to set the pin as output, we need to write the command or the function pin mode. In bracket, we give the pin number which is 13 and we give the mode which can be output or input. We need to write it in all caps. Then the bracket complete and the semicolon to end the line. So this is all about the setup for this program. Now in the loop, what you need to do is you need to first of all set the pin to high so that our LED will turn on. So we will write digital write. So this is the function to write the states to the digital pins. So here we will write the pin number again then comma then we will set the state of the pin to high. Then we will close the bracket and the semicolon. Now we want our LED to be turned on for one second. So we will add a delay of 1000 milliseconds which is around one second. Next, after the one second, we need to turn off our LED. So we will write digital write the pin number to low and add the semicolon. Again, add a delay of 1000 milliseconds and add the semicolon. Now our code is ready. You can directly go and click on this upload button. So whenever you click on upload button, it will first compile the code and then it will upload. If you want, you can save the code like blink LED and it will be saved to your uh, sketch folder. 
click on save. Now it will compile the sketch. It will take some time to compile the code. And once the compilation is done, it will upload the code to your Arduino board. So as soon as the code is uploaded, the TX and RX LEDs will blink. And now you can see our LED, which is connected to pin number 13, it started to blink. So it is getting turned on for one second and it is getting turned off for one second. And this is continuously running in the loop. So this is how we have successfully programmed our first Arduino Nano board. Thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe my channel if you like my videos. Thank you so much.